Hello everyone, I am back with another video. If you guys are new here, my name is Cheyenne and I am a college student, more specifically a college transfer student. If you clicked on this video, you are probably a transfer student or you're probably thinking about transferring, but let me just tell you, you're in the right place because today I thought that I would sit down and tell you the advice that I think all college transfers should hear. These are some of the things that I wish I heard early on to help me cope with some of the struggles of being a transfer student. Yes, being a transfer student comes with struggles as there are struggles that comes with everything in life, but this video isn't to say that transferring is a horrible thing because I can tell you from my experience, it's the best and smartest decision that I've ever made. So yeah, let's just get into the real talk. So the first thing that I want to touch on is that imposter syndrome is a real feeling, but don't let it consume you. If you guys don't know what imposter syndrome is, it's basically the feeling that you are undeserving of your success and I've experienced it as a transfer student. I've doubted why I should be in the position that I'm in to attend a top university simply because of the negative social stigma around community college. There's the notion that it's the easy way in but the reality is that there are different ways to reach your educational goal. It doesn't make you less of a qualified person based on your path. There are many different reasons why people take different paths to ultimately get to where they want to be. Imposter syndrome played a role in my experience as the barrier between me and the opportunities that were right in front of me. Picture this, I am sitting in a class full of smart people and I always thought to myself, what did I deserve to be sitting among this group of people? But I realized I am one of them and it's hard for me to accept that, especially coming from my background. I didn't want this thought to consume me because being surrounded by these people gave me the opportunity to learn from new people and learn from new perspectives. Eventually, I was able to accept that I was there for a reason. College admission doesn't just fall out of thin air and I wouldn't be where I'm at without making the sacrifices and working hard. And that is exactly what I want you to recognize. You are working hard and you are making sacrifices to get where you wanna be. Nothing in life is handed to us. The next thing that I wanna to touch on is that you are not behind and everyone has different timelines. I transferred thinking that I was behind in terms of career readiness. When I was networking with people, people thought I was ahead of my time, but I was like, no, like my peers all have internships and experiences and I'm just here getting started. I compared my timeline to those of my peers and it really contributed to my imposter syndrome feeling. The reality is that the atmosphere at a four-year university and a community college is different because each institution focuses on different objectives. And so adapting to a four-year university was really hard for me coming from a community college because a community college there isn't really an emphasis on career readiness. People at community college are just looking to transfer out. Compared to at a four-year university, people are looking to get into the professional world. Comparing myself to others was very toxic until I kind of reframed my mind and used it as motivation to get up to the level of their career readiness. It was even better to learn from them and reach out and ask, what did you do to get to where you are? The next thing is, it's okay if you don't know. And just to preface this, it's great if you have a goal in mind and you know what you want to aim for because yeah, it gives you somewhat of a structure. But something to keep in mind is to be adaptable because our lives are constantly evolving and our goals are going to evolve with that as well. So I came in transferring thinking that I knew exactly what I wanted to do. Like Cheyenne had her shit together. But as I networked and learned about the world, I realized how much there was that I haven't explored yet. And I want you to know that it's okay if you don't know what you want to do or if you don't know what you're actually passionate about. I don't have it all figured out either. Until I try something, I just think that I'm forcing myself to believe that I'm passionate about something just to be passionate about something. Because in reality, there is so much uncertainty and there's so much that I just haven't tried yet. 
that I'm sure there are people out there who know exactly what they want to do. They know what they're passionate about and more power to them. But for me, I just feel like there's such a high expectation and pressure to know what you want to do at such a young age. I think this is a time when we are starting to grow and develop and explore life or college life for what it is. It's totally okay if you don't know what you want to do. Lastly, get experiences because classes can only teach you so much. A lot of what I've learned is from experiences and yes, classes can teach you the fundamentals of things, but do you really think that an outdated textbook can teach you tangible skills to use in a world that is constantly changing? The answer is no. And that kind of sucks because I pay so much money for these textbooks. Like, why are they so expensive? But I find most of my experiences on campus and it's the easiest way to learn both hard and soft skills. And it's a bonus because you get to make new friends and build your network along the way on campus. Don't worry about not graduating on time because you can complete your requirements for your degree at any time. But experiences and opportunities come and go. There's no better time to explore them than now in your 20s. But obviously, be smart with your decision. So that's all for the talk. I hope that you at least took one thing away from this video. Maybe it gave you a little bit of hope and light looking down the road. I'm not perfect and I go through struggles just like you do. But I hope that sharing my experiences and my thoughts with you helped open up your mind a little bit. So that is all. Feel free to leave any comments down below questions. Feel free to drop a like and I will see you guys in the next video.